My name's Mrs. Bakshi, and I have AF, which was diagnosed in 2008. When I was diagnosed with AF, I was scared. The reason I was scared was that my mother had passed away at the age of 62 with an enlarged heart, which wasn't recognized till the last stages. So all sorts of things went into my head. I was thinking, oh, what's going to happen? I'm not going to live long. I will be dead. I'll have a stroke. I won't be able to walk. What will happen? And I want to enjoy my retirement. I have worked so hard in my life that this was scaring me. I was so scared till the doctors reassured and said that things can be done. But as the doctors explained, I read a lot about it and realized that lots of other people have also got it. So I needn't worry. I was in capable hands of the doc surgeons, the doctors, and the nurses. And uh, that put me to ease. And then I started saying, why? I'm going to think positively and see what I can do. Whatever time I have left, I'm going to do something good. That's when I started doing a lot of voluntary work did a lot for uh, on well-being and uh, health issues and I'm still spreading that word and that is all because I took it in a way that I'm going to use my disability into some sort of ability and positive needs but give positive message to the people. Now I was prescribed warfarin blood thinning medicine and I had to take uh, particular doses on particular days and I thought if I forget it might not work so I had a chart put by my bedside where I used to tick that I've had so many milligrams of warfarin today and this day and then I kept that record to help me to remember and then suddenly it's it's become a habit now when you have warfarin you're called back to hospital to check your INR so that it remains as they want it to be. And I was asked to come to the hospital every month to check that my INR was at the right level. And, that was, and they also kept on adjusting the warfarin so that uh, uh, I could stay steady. Then after years, uh, my INR has become quite steady now and they have transferred me to a clinic near a home and they also call me and they check my INR, uh, I, INR and uh, uh, what is it? They, they, and now it's settled to 2.5 which is good that's what they want between two and three and uh, it's very good that the, this is happening here and it makes me feel that you're being uh, looked at properly, you're being monitored, and there's no need to worry. So that relieves stress. Being a health champion, I said, I am not going to give up. I am going to lead as normal a life as I can. I know I get breathless going up the steps, doing the housework. Anyway, who likes housework? I have to do it. So. It's difficult, it's becoming more difficult now, but I've got help. Uh, my husband is a very good husband who helps me a lot. And uh, I've got grandchildren and children who sometimes come and help. I've always been a vegetarian and still am. And I believe in having simple food, which keeps me well. I balance my diet. I know what to do. I've read a lot about it, and that helps me to uh, think what I'm doing is uh, right for me and my family. Perhaps it will be good for the others. Uh, I avoid eating things with a lot of vitamin K in it because it seems that uh, vitamin K thickens the blood. This is what I read from some of the leaflets I picked up, things like Jaffa fruit, uh, cranberry juice, not allowed. So things that were mentioned in the leaflet, I try to avoid them. I advise anyone with AF to 
trust in their doctors, have their medication on time regularly, and see that uh, whenever you have any other medication that people advise you, please check with the doctors because sometimes there's an interaction with those medications. So trust in the doctors, have what they advise you to have, and tell them if you want to have anything else besides what you're having before you take it. So have a stress-free life, meditate, and enjoy life.